Hello, my name is Booker Edwards. I'm a beat maker, composer, producer, engineer, educator, and MPC connoisseur. Welcome to my course on the Akai MPC standalone workflow. The MPC has been a standard in professional music production since the debut of the MPC 60 in 1988. It has been a major part of hit records in every genre. Since 1988, there have been many iterations of the MPC. The MPC 60, MPC 62, MPC 3000, MPC 2000, the MPC 2000 XL, MPC 4000, the MPC 1000, MPC 2500, MPC 500, the MPC 5000, the MPC Renaissance, MPC Studio, MPC Touch, the MPC Studio Black Edition, the MPC Live, the MPC X, the MPC One, the MPC Live 2, and the MPC Key 61. The MPC 60 through the MPC 5000 were all standalone music production centers, meaning everything was done inside the MPC, as well as it could control your entire MIDI studio. The MPC Renaissance, MPC Studio, and MPC Touch introduced a new era of MPC controllers that only worked with the new MPC software installed on your computer. With the introduction of the MPC Live in 2017, Akai went back to its roots with the first MPC capable of standalone operation since the MPC 5000 was released in 2008. The MPC Live ushered in a new era of hybrid MPCs that could function as a controller for the MPC software or function without being tethered to a computer in standalone mode. These include the MPC X, the MPC One, the MPC Live 2, and the MPC Key 61. This course will focus on the standalone workflow of the current line of MPCs and will be delivered from the perspective of the MPC Live 2, the MPC 1, and the MPC X. Let's go.